Hi, in this quick uh, video, I'm going to show you how to set up PowerShell Defend to block webmail attachments for all files. I mean, we're going to stop everything. Uh, webmail is not going to, nobody's sending webmail with Chrome. So let's create a new rule called block access. And we say block webmail. That's what we're going to do. We want to block read access to all files. That means everything. We don't want anybody to get, attach any file for all users. And we want it to apply to Chrome. So we're going to set a program name filter and say Chrome. All right, there we go. Now, this right now, Chrome would just stop working. It won't work at all if we kept it this way. So we have to allow Chrome to actually work. So we're going to have to exclude filters. Say, so we want to exclude the files or the areas that Chrome likes to work in. So we're going to exclude the app, the app data folder. And that'll be the you know temporary folders that it uses. And we're going to exclude let it read Windows folders. Windows. All right, exclude that. And just for sanity's sake, because I happen to know it likes to read any files, we're going to exclude any files too. So if somebody wants to send in any file, they're going to be able to. And but this should cut down the amount of noise. So right now we're going to block webmail from um, all the files. For all files, we're going to deny read access to all users for the program Chrome except for the app data, the C folder, I mean the Windows folder, and any files. Now this is going to stop Chrome from doing lots of things like sending WebMail. But let's see. So we'll turn that on. Yes, we want to do that. And let's find the rule. Block WebMail. There we go. Turn that one on. Yes. And just to make sure that's the right rule, because I have so many. Yep, that looks right. Now let's start up Chrome. Uh, where's Chrome? And let's try to, first of all, let's make sure that everything's working. So let's go to Amazon. Is Amazon working? Amazon looks like it's working okay. Um, let's browse around a bit. Multi tools, just because I like multi tools, that looks good. Let's go to um, Google Maps, just because why not? And Google Maps looks like it's working. So, for the most part, browser looks like it's working okay. So let's let's uh, let's close this down. Let's open up Webmail. All right, here's Gmail. Well, there it is. And we're going to compose a new mail. Now I'm going to attach, attempt to attach a file, any file. Uh, here's one that's actually in the program documents, uh, Excel file, I mean XML file, and that's not going to be allowed. So let's try to get to something on my hard drive. Let's go ahead and back up documents, important documents. Let's try this PDF file. That's not going to be where I'm. Let's try. Let's see if it'll allow me to get to my documents. Let's open up documents. There's some files in here. How about this Excel file? No. How about this, that Excel file? How about a text file? How about this doc file? As you can see, PowerShell is blocking everything. In fact, um, it's blocking webmail from doing anything. In fact, you'll see it over here. If we pull PowerShell up, you can see that it's attempting to do all these things. And PowerShell is blocking all these red actions. It's PowerShell stopping it from happening. So that's how you can set FileShare up to block webmail generally. This is a this one's focused on Chrome specifically, but you could set it up for Firefox, .exe, or you could set it up for um, uh, iExplorer, whatever you need.